welcome. You've landed on Zero Limits Living. Every week, I bring you inspiration and information to transform your life. I'm Dr. Joe Vitale. This show has become so popular so quickly, you can now see it or hear it on 1,000 platforms across the galaxy. And that includes Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, YouTube, and probably anything you could name. I'm putting all the episodes in one place so you can go there and binge. Go to ZeroLimitsLivingTV.com, ZeroLimitsLivingTV.com. You can also sign up there to be notified when a new episode is posted. Also, people are always asking me about coaching. I started a coaching program almost 20 years ago. It is proven, it is tested, it is trademarked, and you can learn all about it. Go to MiraclesCoaching.com, MiraclesCoaching.com. And then I always have a new product, a new book, a new service coming out, and the latest one is really causing a buzz. Go to MentalTimeTravelSystem.com. What's that all about? Go to MentalTimeTravelSystem.com and find out for yourself. Now, let's get to business. And the business we want to talk about is your health. We want to talk about your wealth. We want to talk about your well-being, your state of wellness. If you're not feeling so great, if you happen to be overweight, if you're struggling in some way, shape, or form with this whole fitness issue, then I have good news for you. I have the world's expert on this subject. I have a world authority. I have a world celebrity. I have somebody I've known for almost 20 years in this field, and I was impressed with her when I first met her almost 20 years ago, and since then, she has blown my socks off and done so much more that I'm in awe. Let me tell you who I have here, Jennifer Nicole Lee. Jennifer Nicole Lee, she's a wellness coach. She's been doing this for 20 years. She lost 80 pounds after the birth of her children, and she lost all of that, released all of that, I think is the word she would use, around 2003 and has kept it off. More than that, she has created an empire and an enterprise to help people around the world, especially women, achieve fitness goals. Not only that, Jennifer has written 17 books. Now, when I met her, I think she had one or two books, which is pretty impressive. 17 books? That's walking on water miraculous. That is incredible. Staggering even. She's been on the cover of 100 magazines. When I met her, she was on the cover of 30 magazines, and I was in awe. I remember asking her, how do you get on the cover of 30 magazines? That was breathtaking to me. Now she's been on the cover of 100 hundred magazines. I can't even fathom this. And I'm a guy who talks about miracles. And she built her own mansion, a 10,000 square foot mansion, which I did not know about. She doesn't know it yet, but I'm coming for a visit. And I want to see this place. She has created an empire. She's been coined the queen of fitness to her global audience. You're going to have to go to our website, which is at jennifernicolelee.com, jennifernicolelee.com. But do that after the show. Right now, I've got her. Jennifer, how are you? Oh, wow. After that introduction, I That's am phenomenal. You. Thank you so much, Dr. <laughs> Joe Vitale. I return that praise and all of your accolades right back to you. I uh, am among royalty of the self-help industry, uh, and I've always held you in, in such high regard. And to be here on your show with all these amazing people around the world listening to our messages. I want to say thank you for this opportunity and thank you for everyone tuning in. And thank you again for a great introduction. You're welcome. That's all you. And that's not all of it. There is so much there. You know, I already know you because you flew in to do the Rolls Royce mastermind 15 years ago or whenever it was. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you were the only one ABC news filmed everything we did, every word we exchanged, every bite of food we had, they filmed the whole thing for a news piece they were doing. That's how important this knowing you has been. But then, back then, you were on the cover of 30 magazines. <laughs> now it's 100? What yeah. in the world? What? <laughs> well, you know what, Doc? <laughs> well, it happens with just like you. You believe in alchemy, in magic, in being a light worker. And that never goes out of style. People want the magic. They want the light workers. They want the people that are able to ship bad to good in their lives and mm. and not trigger them but to evoke them and wake them up and when you have that type of energy as you do having over 70 books and all of your wonderful 
you know, titles and accolades and, and just your, you know, you're, you're, I don't believe it. You're 70, but you're like going on 30. So you're only <laughs> getting better. We're, we're getting better. And that's what it is. I think that's the secret to what we are doing here. We're changing lives. People mm -hmm. want some of that positive energy because we're surrounded by negative energy. And when you're able to flip it or use your alchemy and take it from bad to good, worry to, to celebration, people want that type of energy in their life. And that's what we're doing right now. We're worry free. We're in abundance. We both came from lack and scarcity. So to be able to say, you know, yes, been in the industry for over 20 years, you've got a winning track record. We're only getting better. People need our message together more than ever. So that's why I'm still here doing what I'm doing. And it's a passion and really it's a calling. I have to say, and I think you can agree, you know, I didn't choose to be a coach. It almost chose me because you mm. had it in you when you shifted yourself. When you transformed yourself, you had the bag of tricks, if you will. You had the tools, tips, and techniques and strategies. And then you're able to then empower other people. That's why we're still here today in 2023. New year, new you, new energy, <laughs> changing lives. This is amazing. And you are so incredible. So here's where we have to start. Yes. Because my job is to help all the people that are watching or listening to this to, yes. to live a life of zero limits. And the first thing that happens a lot of the times when they hear these incredible biographies, they hear these incredible records of success like you have that I just went through, they, they disconnect. Yes. They disconnect because they don't think you're real. That's right. They don't think I'm real. They don't think we're human. Yeah. So it's we have to go back to the beginning. Where where were you born and raised and what was that like? Absolutely. I was born in Rochester, New York, to a first generation Italian family, immigrants, you know, working our fingers to the bone from the dirt up. Then we moved to the the, the southern part of the United States in a small little town outside of Nashville, Tennessee. And I was again the oddball owl. I didn't fit in. Lacking mm -hmm. scarcity is all that I knew. And I was always wanting more and feeling like I didn't have it. And as I grew up, you know, we fall into that trap. Everyone out there, I was an emotional eater. I saw my mom emotionally eat. So my dad drink too much. I didn't have the best childhood. Wore hand-me-downs, raised on food stamps. And I had to do a lot of inner work to break a lot of those generational curses that are handed down to us, mm -hmm. whether it's um, generational poverty or emotional eating and eating unhealthy things and not taking care of our temple, our body, our mind, body, and spirit, our mind, body, and soul, which, you know, I'm very grateful that you wrote the foreword to our book back in the day, I believe 13 right. years ago, which right. is still selling thanks to your foreword and, and blessing it with your name. Um, so that's where I started, everyone. I'm not preaching to the pulpit, just like Dr. Joe Vitale said, I am just like that everyday woman that woke up. I went from 3D thinking, 3D living. I'm never going to make it. This is, I just got to settle. I got to be happy with what I have. I got to stop dreaming too big too. No, I can have it all. I can shift it. I've been almost sent in this time to change the trajectory of my family's lineage and to break emotional eating, not mm -hmm. exercising, not taking care of our mind, body, and spirit, and to do something with it. And what really inspired me is when I became a mother and I had a bigger why. And you talk about that in your goal setting. What is your why? Well, that was my why. That's what lit my fire. That's your nickname. That fire inside of me burned so bright that I was like a wild woman on a mission to transform my exterior. But this is where the magic was. I started doing the inner work. And you're all about the inner work, Dr. Joe. That's what I love your books and, and zero limits. What a great Catch, it's not a catchphrase. This is how you can live your life. And I started living my life with no limits, working out, healthy, exercising, not playing the victim and taking full ownership of my situation. And that's where the magic happened. So it does take discipline. It takes hard work and it takes a fire inside of you that can never be quenched. Here we are 20 years later, still doing it, changing lives. So I am like that everyday woman that just really had that epiphany, that revelation well, where I look, made the decision to take control of my life and to really go after it with zero limits. All right. That was a mouthful there, but you said yeah. the one key thing, you made the decision. Yes. What helped you make that decision? If you're growing mm -hmm. up in a family that has what you call generational yes. curses there, yes. their mindset is your mindset for yep. the time being, because you grew up in that. 
how did you break free of that mindset? Because there's a lot of people in the family curse. Yes. Or, I, I hate using the word curse. It's a it's a limitation. That's right. That's a mindset in the family. And you got to break free. How did you break free? What was the opening? What cracked the egg there? And you started to look out and go, wait a minute, it can be yeah. different. Absolutely. And first of all, that question gave me full body chills because <laughs> I'm so glad that I had that epiphany. What mm. it was, Dr. Joe and everyone listening, I had hit my head against the wall too many times. I had failed with this yo-yo dieting, the a lot of cardio, eating little to nothing, you know, losing the weight, gaining it, doing the up and down on the scale. And I was defeated. And then I was on the couch and I remember it like yesterday and like in a lightning second, in a nanosecond, just like a little pin dot of a thought just opened up a whole nother paradigm for me. I was on the couch eating donuts, pizza, yes, at the same time. <laughs> with my two babies beside me. And then I said, I am falling into the trap of my mother and her mother and her mother and the lineage. And I said, it stops with me. I don't know how. And you always say that in your coaching, you don't know, need to know the how part of the secret, right? Law of attraction. You just need to have that. Why your burning desire. What do you want? You'll figure out the how later. So that's what woke me up. That's when I had that aha moment in 2003, 20 years ago, and I said, I cannot live like this. There's so much more. And I got to prove to my generations after me that it broke with me that, yes, let's forget about the word curse. You know, it's not about generational curses, that the next generation successes start with me. And yeah. it was such an empowering moment. It was like something external came for me and gave me that message because what do I know better? Just like you said. And I think when you fail so many times and you're just, wanting an answer and you're just seeking ask and you shall find knock it'll be open as it says in the good book and that's where mm -hmm. i was i was thinking is this all that my life is meant to be just a baby holder baby diaper changer just this kind of image of just taking care of others but there's more and i wanted to unleash my inner vip queen if you will and we all have a king and a queen inside of us no matter where you're born and that's where it started so i went i started researching I started reading. I started falling in love with the process. And going back to my first point, it wasn't even the external. It was more of the inner work, self-worth, self-love. Everyone out there, I cannot stress that enough. Do your mirror work. Dr. Joe Vitale talks all about mirror work. Fall back in love with who you are, where you are on your journey, and enjoy it. So it went from a ego goal back before that. I had that epiphany of, I just want to look good in my size two pants and I want to have a certain number on the scale. That's an ego goal. It really shifted to a soul goal, which is I don't want to lose anything. So I'll just find it on me. I want to gain. I want to gain a new identity as an, as an athlete. I want to gain a whole new lease on life. And so my ego goal shifted to a soul goal that filled my soul about self evolution, not a resolution. And that's when you start to really know who you are. So everyone out there listening, you can do it too. I'm no different from anyone else. We are real people that took control and made a decision. You've got to have strong decision-making muscles. And we then liberated ourselves and we found peace with the journey of saying, you know what? It's not going to happen in one day. Rome wasn't built in a day, but it will happen if I am consistent and I keep showing up and believing, going back to the name of the show, believing that there are no limits. We're still only getting better. Right, Dr. Joe? That's Absolutely. the power of it. Yes. <clears throat> well, let me unpack this a little bit because I want to get to the point where you give us a, a, a few hacks, yes. a few shortcuts, sure. a few sure. resources, because uh -huh. with your experience, it, it's profound and an honor for you to to be here and to be so generous and to answer questions and help as many people as you are. But we need to unpack that moment of decision. Yes. Because yes. so many people sit on the couch with or without yes. the kids, with or without the pizza and the donuts and the beer and the TV on, yes. and they're thinking, I need to change, but they don't. They don't take the decision. They don't make the leap. What was different with you? I know you said you hit bottom, but was there yes. a role model? Was there something you saw? Was there something you heard? Was there somebody else? Or was it just divine intervention? What, what wow. do you think was the, the mm -hmm. push there, the turning point? That is a brilliant question. Thank you for asking that. And I love that you said that there are like 98% of everyone that knows they need to do something. They fizzle out fast. Well, I'm here to give you hope and give you great answers and tools, tips, techniques, and strategies. Mm -hmm. And what happened for me was 
And it actually went on back to something that I actually read in one of your books that when you could have intentions, intentions, all the intentions in the world, I'm, I, my intentions are to lose weight and finally get healthy, but you have hidden blocks, counter intentions. And I believe that that moment scared me so much when I saw a flash in the pan of my life just playing out as my mother's and her mother's that it scared me. I had paranoia and it actually worked to my honor because I, being an alchemist now, I saw what I did. I took that energy of fear and I transformed it into take action now before it's too late. You have another chance. If you don't, it could be very detrimental to your health. It's not even about looking good in a dress. It's about your heart health, your physical health, mental health. I mean, we haven't even tapped into the mental health benefits of exercising. That's why you should really exercise. So that right there, removing the counter intentions, poof, be gone like magic. It was like abracadabra. Every counter intention at that point was removed because of the fear of I am playing around with my health. Not only that, it's not about me anymore. It's about I got to be strong enough to do my duties as a mother. And as we know, you don't get to clock out. It's, it's, it's mentally, physically very challenging. So I'm talking to all the real people out there. You've got to use that fear of, I'm not getting healthier any anytime quick. I need to take drastic action, make it fun and enjoy it. That's another big thing. You can make fitness fun. And that's what I was able to do to flip it from boring to fun. And I think, you know, you love to have fun. I think it's another part of our spiritual DNA, if you will, that makes us tick and makes us wake up and spring out of bed, excited to make these decisions and then seeing it transform into other people's life. So removing all the counter intentions were big. See, a lot of people say, I want to work out, but then they have that block of, oh, I, I got to drive to the gym. I got to then walk up the stairs, get the little barcode out and see people. I don't know. I'm embarrassed. I removed all that and I started working out at home. So that was a counter intention that I removed. And also the block. Oh, it's expensive to get in shape. All the expensive diet food. You got to get a trainer. I went online. I reached for research recipes. I started training myself. I became my own fitness expert. So there's another block that I removed. I was just like, come hell or high water, I'm going to get fit and nothing and nobody's going to stop me. So that's a, what shifted good, for me. That, that That's a great answer. And those are great, great insights. It raises a few questions, though. So I still want to unpack yes. this. You're sure. sitting on the sofa. You got the two kids. Are yes. you married at this time? Yes. Oh, that's a great question. Okay. I was married at the time. And also, no matter what I looked like, um, he didn't care what I looked like. It wasn't like, you better get in shape for me because you're you're letting yourself go. Married at the time. My weight was up and down, up and down, up and down. So it was a, a supportive relationship, which is good. Um, mm -hmm. So I really did it for myself. And I think good. that's a key. Okay. You've got to do it for yourself. you got to do it from self-love. Find that little ember inside of your spirit and let it and just keep fanning it until it becomes a roaring fire, a bonfire within inside you that can never be uh, never be extinguished. And find people around you that are going to support you. You said yeah. in an interview we did earlier, find your cheerleaders that are going to support yeah. you. Very important. Yeah, I think that's one of the secrets to success. Be with people who are going to support you as you support them. Yes. That'll make it far easier than being the low, lone ranger here. But mm -hmm. also th this whole idea of you were scared. You you yes. admitted on the sofa and everything. This is like you you hit bottom. Do yes. you have to hit bottom to change? Brilliant question. I have to say that from my coaching, and you have a lot of experience with your 20 years of coaching, I've seen what sticks. Sometimes, sadly enough, we have to really hit rock bottom for us to understand, fully comprehend, and our human comprehension or limited comprehension that we have here, that this is the only way that sometimes rock bottom, Dr. Joe and everyone listening is the greatest platform and foundation mm -hmm. to build your, not even empire, but your universe on. Okay. <laughs> because the universe is inside you. When you do your mirror work, it's inside you. And when you understand that you're able to make it stick, because if you didn't really feel the suffering, you didn't feel the pain, you didn't feel the defeat. Feelings are powerful. Use them. You talk about that in all of your works. Mm -hmm. And and it's just like a whitewash. Oh, it'd be nice to get in shape. That's not going to push you on those hard days when you don't feel like it. You're going to remember your why. I remember when I was destitute. I remember when I was physically broke. I remember when the doctor said, you got to clean up your, your physical life. And, and when you remember that rock bottom, it's almost the greatest gift. So if you've ever hit rock bottom before, don't shun it. Don't put it way back in your closet. 
You don't don't have to do shadow work to find it. Like really resonated. I still have a photo of my before photo, so I see it every day, and it's just a great feeling to know I didn't give up on myself. People, wow. don't give up on yourself. Zero limits, just like Dr. Joe Vitale says. There's zero limits to what you do when you make that massive decision to never fail yourself again because it's your transformation. You have to commit to your transformation. It's not for Dr. Joe. It's not for me. It's for you. And that's time to get real. And that's what I'm excited about, that people can feel that. I got chills. What a great story and what a great (laughs) answer. You did not dismiss the reality of hitting bottom. And I love that you put a spin on it, a positive one, and saying that that could be the greatest gift, that you can actually use it. These are moments of genius, Jennifer. Thank you for sharing this. So there's a person watching right now or listening to the Mm -hmm. podcast version of this, Mm -hmm. and they're, they're on the sofa, but they haven't hit rock bottom. They are being motivated a little bit and inspired a little bit. And they have the desire. They have what I would call the wish that I'm going to transform. But they haven't hit bottom. Can they lift off from that that wish? Mm -hmm. Great question. And actually going back to the book you wrote the foreword to, I have an exercise, a mental exercise. And I say, if what you're doing right now at this maybe lukewarm temperature of sometimes working out and sometimes eating healthy and it's a little bit muddled blurry lines and if you continue on this path where will you be in one year from now Hmm. two years from now and this is to evoke the pain inside and to then two very powerful emotions pain and pleasure you got to link pain to settling link pain to kind of sort of being committed because that's not going to get you anywhere because we live in a gravitational world Everything is just going to fall. You're going to have hard days at work. You're not going to feel like it. It's going to lead to, you know, emotional eating, drinking, whatnot. So you have to really evoke the pain. Take a mental journey with yourself and say, am I really living up to my potential? Have a sit down meeting with yourself. Look in the mirror if you need to and say, am I really taking care of this person 1000%? If I was this person's best friend, would I take care of myself, him or her, the way I'm doing right now? Sadly enough, the answer is going to most likely be no. And that's going to wake up the pain and say, you know what? I have to flip it now. I'm going to start linking pleasure to being committed 1,000%. And you know what? We're, we're, I always have this one great coaching exercise, and I know everyone will out, like it out there, and, and you will too, where you actually marry yourself. If you marry yourself, are you going to cheat on yourself? Are you going to kind of sort of show up? to your dates with working out with yourself and eating healthy. No, you're going to truly honor yourself and to death to Mm -hmm. your part. So you really make it that much more impactful. So yes, everyone out there, if you hit rock bottom, don't do it because it's painful. I've been there many times. (laughs) (laughs) Right, right. (laughs) Do yourself a favor, take an audit and say, let me get really extremely real with myself and make a plan and also make it fun. Now this isn't torture. We flip it and make it fun. Being healthy is fun. Living your dream life is fun. I know you're a car collector looking out in your driveway and seeing dream cars. I was in your, the the Rolls Royce mastermind. That was (laughs) fun. Okay. And to have a TV show crew chasing us down, following us, believe in yourself, believe in the abundant, healthy version of yourself. And when you believe in that version of yourself and start showing up as that, you'll start having these habits come into place and you'll be Mm -hmm. like, aha, now I know what Dr. Joe and Coach Jay and I were talking about, and it all makes sense. That is a wonderful exercise, and thank you for generously describing it for us. It's out of your thank book, you. that Believe book, the one you were holding up? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, and, the Mind, and, Body, Soul, Diet book. Uh-huh. Mind, Body, Soul, Diet book. Mm-hmm. There's so many questions I have for you, because you're also a fun, fit foodie. Yes. And, and I also saw that you were doing something with pets, VIP pets, yes, something like that. Absolutely. I also saw that you were in movies. Yeah. which I didn't know, including <laughs> Pain and Gain. Wasn't that the Wahlberg movie? And, that sure was. And you were in that as well. Jennifer, what's mind-blowing to me is if you just took the story of you on the sofa with the kids yeah, and please. the turning point moment there, and you lose 80 pounds and you project yourself to this moment, that alone is an incredible story. That's wonderful. But that's not all you've done. You have excelled in every one of these areas. I remember when we did the Rolls Royce Mastermind and you were on 30 covers, which was jaw dropping back (laughs) then. And I said, how? And you said, well, I visualized it. Now you're on a hundred of them. Tell me about just, we can talk about anything here, but tell me about that one alone. How do you Uh, get on a hundred covers of magazines? 
Absolutely. That's a great question. And I believe that everyone here listening and including you, Dr. Joe Vitale, we've all had some type of spiritual awakening. Now, this is key because people need to understand when you have a spiritual awakening, you actually gain more energy. You don't really need coffee. I don't drink any coffee or energy drinks, but you have this newfound excitement for life and it's contagious. So that is powerful. So when you've had that shift and you had that ascension, if you will, maybe from 3D living, getting by, struggling, life is so hard, this is horrible. When is this gonna end? I don't enjoy who I am. And you have this pity party and then some kind of divine intervention happens and it happened to you because you went from living out of your car in hotels to now living in a beautiful mansion with multiple cars. And you've had that shift. And I really go, it goes back to having a spiritual awakening in some sort. And the funny thing is, is that once you have one spiritual awakening and your heart opens up, you're able to then have another one and you keep ascending. And that's hmm. the beautiful part of it. And you have more energy. So from that, you then connect with the right people. You visualize, you always ask yourself, and this is a, this is a great coaching technique that you tell all of your audience that I took from you. You say, what can be better? What can be better? And then your mind is a brilliant masterpiece creation. It'll give you answers. But then going back to what you said, take action on those answers. Don't be afraid. Go out, put yourself out there. You never know who you're going to meet. So in the fitness industry, I would go to the conventions and introduce myself because I had this spiritual awakening. What are they going to say? No, it doesn't matter. And you have this newfound childlike joy for life because you know, at the end of the, of the day, it doesn't really matter. At least you try. And if you try, you're going to get results no matter what. And that's a big key to success. And, and I'm not talking about religion and I'm not I'm talking about right. when you truly connect to light source and the more light you have, the more you can do. You can do movies, you can author books, you can be on magazines, just like you. You're in movies, you are had written too many books for me to start listing off right here. <laughs> so that's when you are able to hold more light in your body. Mm. I know it sounds mm. out there, but it's true. And people see the joy in your eye. I always say, your eyes are the window to your soul. You can truly see if someone's happy about life. And that's what I embody. You're a generator. When you go into an interview, Dr. Joe, when you go into a room, you shift the energy in the room. People want, what are you, what are you on? What pill is it? It's not a pill. It's where you've had this awakening and you know you have a ripple effect and people want a part of that ripple effect. And it's more like a tsunami to them, but it's a little ripple for you because you've been doing it for so long. That's why people need coaching. That's why people need insight. They need guidance. They need someone that's going to help them make those massive decisions and, and not be afraid because then it gets addictive and it's a healthy addiction. I hate to say it. All humans are addictive to something. That's how we're wired. Get addicted to success. And then you're going to look back 20 years like we are, 30 years. And for you, many, many amazing, God bless years of changing people's lives. And you can look back and say, wow, I am a light worker. I have generated so much light into other people's lives, helped them get out of the shadows, helped them get out of shoving things into the closet, looking at it. And that's how you're able to then get out of the defensive mode. And here's the kicker, then get into the creative mode. And as an artist, we're all artists and your canvas is light. What are you going to draw today? I've done it with magazine covers, interviews, books, whatever. Everyone has a genius inside of them and you need to unlock it by saying, I am enough. I am worthy. I am a manifesting vessel. I can create miracles in my life. You talk about expect miracles. And, and that is so, you got to start expecting miracles because what you anticipate, you create. So mm -hmm. that's a little bit of my little Joel the JNL's uh, yeah. dust of magic, how, you, how I live my <laughs> life. And before I was nothing like this. I was the drama queen, the pity mm. party, but then I shifted to be a VIP queen and everyone out there can do the same. It just, it just takes, again, a decision and also consistency and support. Finding your other light worker friends like Dr. Joe Vitale. You're listening to this message for a reason. So listen, take action. Whatever the next step is, invest in you. You deserve it. This is beautiful. You know what I love about you? There's Actually, there's many levels, and I'm discovering more of them. 
it's not just about diet and exercise with you. In fact, as I'm talking to you now, that's only the kind of the the -hmm. introduction and the tip of the iceberg. That's the illusion that you you meet at first. And then when you go deeper, you find out there's this spiritual power source. Like you are a walking volcano of energy. (laughs) And, And when you mention this, spiritual awakening i'm sure because this show is called zero limits living and it has a spiritual bent to it we all want to know can you tell us about the spiritual awakening or one of them if you had more than one what was this absolutely absolutely well you know what you are creative miracles and and i believe in miracles and we both have seen too many miracles not to believe right now we are all walking living breathing miracles if we made it through covid and we've all had that we saw the whole world shift in that COVID year and even after with the political unrest. And now, you know, thank goodness it's like smooth sailing. We've all had some kind of awakening on some level. Now it's up to us to brush it away and Uh, to not pay it no mind mm. or listen to the signs. You know, sometimes the the universe can be beating us over the head with a spiritual two by four and we're not, we're going to be like, oh, that doesn't mean anything. We can turn a blind eye to it. But I really believe that we are here to impact other people's lives and send off that ripple effect. And as you said, mine was a volcano or a tsunami, and that's good because we all have that potential inside of us. We have to tap into that potential. And that's the beauty. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's actually a beautiful journey to know that you can create powerful, impactful, positive shifts in other people's lives, but it starts with yours. You Mm. cracked your code back in the day going from being poverty level to now, Mm -hmm. you know, very living abundant, wonderful life full of great healthy relationships, a life that is worthy of living up to. And that's the real shift. That's the real spiritual shift, knowing that you are love, you embody love. Love is the highest vibration. Mm -hmm. You talk about that in a lot of your works, that we live in a universe of vibration and frequencies, and that's the law of attraction. And when you really tap into that, you find other people that are attuned your vibration and that vibration the greatest vibration you can give out is love unconditional love non-judgmental love and you're probably thinking but don't you watch the news don't you see all of this hate and war and crime (laughs) yeah i know it's out there but here's the secret you're not going to help the world if you lower your vibration and get into that that Mm. kind of muddled Mm. hate anger pain you got to rise above and ascend it's an ascension where you're going to project love, support. And and that's why I love coaching so much because it is a rewarding relationship between people who are seeking answers and want guidance without being judged because we're no one's perfect. And that's, I believe everyone has that opening up inside their heart chakra. Now we talked about generational curses. We don't like that word, but things that are passed down to us. Yeah. I was in also was, was passed down to me where hearts were closed closed hearts. You know, we said we love you, but did we feel it? Were the actions there? So I urge everyone to do whatever you can do. Read Dr. Joe Vitale's books, do his courses, open up your heart again. We've all been hurt, stabbed in the back, lied upon Mm -hmm. and, and dealt the bad hand in life, but you've got to become childlike again and make it fun and open up your heart again. And when you open up your heart again and you love yourself again, and you truly lo- like learn to find other people that you can trust to love again, you really start living a worry-free life. No more anxiety, no more anti, anti- antidepressant pills. You don't need it because you're in this vortex, if you will, of living your healthiest life. You know, I talk about working out. I got my dumbbell here. You know, we got, we got all <laughs> to work our spiritual muscles, meditate, you know, yeah. pray, if you will. Um, journal. I love journaling, writing in your journal, spending that quiet time. You're really also in your wonderful teachings, you talk about kind of returning to your core, return to who you are and really enjoy this, I'm, this getting to know yourself again, no matter where you are. And that's a spiritual awakening in itself. Mm-hmm. So is this the spiritual awakening that you had? Was there a precise moment? Was there something that was an actual shift? Or is this something that took place over time as a process? Mm-hmm. Because what you're telling us with all the different things you just recommended, which are all yes. wonderful, yes. it sounds more of a process. But was there uh-huh. a moment? Yes. You know, did the skies open? Did you hear God <laughs> speak? Was it, what, what took place? Burning well, bush in the backyard. Was, what was it? I love it. Absolutely. You know, 
When I was eight years old, and I'm glad that you asked that because I, I rarely tell the story because it is so sacred. A lot of people kind of look at me like, is she telling the truth? And I've got nothing to gain by telling uh, a lie about it. And hmm. when I was eight years old, um, I was, I thought I was going swimming. That's all I know. I thought, oh my God, there's a, there's water there. I'm going to go swimming. Okay. Let's let, you didn't know. I really didn't know what was going on, but I was actually baptized. And when I was baptized, I felt as if I left my body and a greater force was inside me. And it was very, it's hard to explain in, in human terms, but I knew at that point that there, there's something bigger out there than me. Uh, and and that uh, was a beautiful moment. And then after that, we all had that still small voice, sixth sense guiding us. Don't go there. Don't do that. Don't, it's a green light, but don't go. So almost like this guide, um, call it the Holy Ghost, if you will, higher power, light source, kind of really, it was, it's a still small voice that I hear, but it's more like a shout. You hear it very loud. And I think mm. everyone has this on some level, but we have to open up ourselves to that. Mm. And that's a great thing. And that has led me to meeting the right people, the right doors opening up to impact more lives, to help people get out of their own self-inflicted misery. And so I believe that that was, you know, uh, a domino effect, if you will, of, of a concessional effect of that one experience that I had. And I've talked to a lot of people that had different spiritual awakenings. They're, each, they're all different and all beautiful. And one is not better than the other. It's just that we have received signs and beautiful experiences that we can take and help other people heal themselves. This is about mm. healing. You know, it is about health, but we cannot have the external physical shell look all perfect when we are just crying inside and rotting away inside and, and yeah. turmoil and angst and anxiety and depression, because those are the emotions that will pull you down. And we need to rise up. The only way we can rise up, Dr. Joe, is by lifting each other, lifting each other up. And that's what you're doing for us right now, for everybody, including me. So thank you for doing thank that, Jennifer. Thank you. Absolutely. So let's go back to the, the woman on the couch here. With yes. The kids. And yes. uh, now she's getting motivated. Now she's getting excited. Now she's thinking, well, there's a possibility here. If Joe left homelessness and Jennifer left yes. the two kids on the couch and the potato chips and whatever you're reading yes. and all of that, what is she going to do first? What does she do first? Let's make this easy. Let's give some sort of spontaneous, yeah. if not specific, but general plan. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. What does she do first? Absolutely. This is what you need to do. First of all, I know that there is no such thing as losing. You either win or you learn. And from my past experience, Dr. Joe and everyone listening, I knew that being the cardio queen didn't work. I knew that eating little to nothing actually backfired against me. You actually mm. shut down your metabolism. So I hit that point right at that, that, that crossroads where I did all that cardio and eating little to nothing and practically starving myself. And yo-yo dieting didn't work with all the fad diets too. I need to find a sustainable program. So let me do my research. And I started watching a lot of you know YouTube videos and on fitness competitors and how ooh, fitness was really based upon. And I know you did um, Bill Phillips. Uh, well, yeah, Body, Body for, for Life with Bill Phillips. Yes, that yes. was a great shift in the industry where we went from all the endless cardio, mind-boggling, boring cardio to weightlifting and mm -hmm. eating lean sources of protein. We figured mm -hmm. out the more muscle you have, the more you can increase your metabolism, your dead burnt out metabolism can be revived again. So my tips were, which I implemented 20 years ago, which still work for me today, is I do more focus on weight training. Mm -hmm. Weight training will always trump cardio. Um, high intensity interval training, training like an athlete, you can modify if you need to. Um, will also be give you better results than steady state cardio. But at the end of the day, any type of working out is better than none. But if you want to really crack your code and have a body that says you don't need to tell people you work out, but like they can see it and say, how many times do you work out a week? That's an impressive <laughs> physique. You know, that's where I want to bring your audience to that you can do it. And I'm only working out three times a week for maintenance and, and for also boosting my mood to get that dopamine. So my tips are to do full body workouts three to four times a week. Um, if you're if you're maintaining, if you're beginning, you want to do four to six times a week, you know, 45 minutes to an hour if you can. Um, mm -hmm. And then also weight training. Muscle is the fountain of youth. The more muscle you have, 
the better your bones, the better your joints. Um, lean muscle tone is very healthy for everything. You're going to have more energy, more get up and go, more stamina, endurance, and it's easy to build. You just bang your weights around, of course, with proper form. And then you eat lean sources of protein, even for our um, plant-based. There's also plant-based sources of protein as well. And of course, water, water, water. And a great tip also, get rid of all the excess calories and sugar you don't need. Alcohol is not good. It just shuts down your metabolism. It's empty calories. Soda, we know, candy bars, and really go to whole foods. If man ate it, don't eat it. Whole foods, sweet potatoes, asparagus, um, you know, just things that are healthy for you. And I think we all know now salad or Snickers bar. I think it's common sense. And I think that's just it. Planning your meals in advance so you're not eating yeah. accidentally. And also make it fun. You know, the Fun Fit Foodie is my foodie vertical, if you will. And it is really fun to eat healthy. I ate all the junk and you feel bad. You feel bloated. You have no energy. This is your temple. Take care of it. You want to put premium gas in your gas tank. So those are my tips to get started. Those are fantastic tips. What about motivation? We, yes. I don't know about you, but I do know during the Body for Life contest that mm -hmm. I was in for that length of time, and then I went mm -hmm. through Bill Phillips' transformation yes. con uh, contest, those usually lasted 12 weeks. And yes. the beauty of a 12-week program is that on week 13, it's over. That right. was also the problem. <laughs> yeah. Because on week 13, it was like, well, I'm free now. It's over. I got my medal. <laughs> I got my award. I look good. And now right. I'll bring on the pizza. Right, right. What right. about, what a, how did you handle those days of motivation when you, you might have felt like, I don't feel like working out today? All right, today's mm -hmm. the day I really want to have donuts. Right. I mean, how, yeah. how does anybody watching get through those yes. moments of weakness and cravings and desires? I love that question. And it goes back to planning something so simple. Um, this is something that's helped me stay consistent for 20 years, not just a 12 week program. And I think that's the whole hook of the fitness industry that you do it for a certain length of time. And then you can go back to your normal life. No, we want to make this the new norm. So here's a great tip. And it sounds so simple. I'm just going to hold up my workout calendar. You can use any calendar but I have my workouts already pre-planned for the entire month. Pick a day and time of the week that works for you. Maybe Sunday is better for you. Maybe Monday. I like to say never miss a Monday. It sets the tone for the week. And then I'll do another workout on Wednesday and then on Saturday. So I do three times a week. And then I'll do fitness snacking, if you will, during the week, whenever I feel like I need a boost of just dopamine, getting my body moved again, giving it a little double espresso of oxygen, and mm. I'll jump on the trampoline. Things that are healthy and happy and easy to do. So again, take your calendar out. It can be on your cell phone. It could be a jumbo one on a cork board. But go ahead and do yourself a favor saying, this is what I'm working out. I'm going to commit to it. I'm going to then plan all my other activities around it. Be flexible, of course. You don't need to be so strict on yourself. Make it fun, but make sure you can cross off at least three to four workouts a week. And that's going to keep you consistent because I learned this rule in coaching and I go, you know, filming so many TV shows and movies and interviews. If it's not on the calendar, it's not going to happen, right? <laughs> Absolutely correct. <laughs> that That so is, good. that's one of my biggest secrets to success. Yes. When people say they want me to do something, it's like, we just have to schedule it. If it's on the calendar, it's like when I read Arnold Schwarzenegger's book, um, I forget what the, uh -huh. yeah. God, I forget the title of it, his autobiography. Yeah. He wow. said he learned from the movie making business, they have a call sheet and the call sheet is what you're doing that day. And whatever is on the call sheet is what you do. If it's not on the call sheet, you're probably not going to do it. Well, this is similar to me with my calendar. If it's not on the calendar, I'm probably not going to do it. But if I put it on the calendar, I'm certainly going to do it. That's so good. I love this inside tip. Yes, it's so true. And you did a great job on the contest, I know, back in the day. And also, it, you're doing, you're all over. You're almost like omnipotent, if you will. But you're, it's on your calendar. <laughs> and that's how you're able to be everywhere, do it, you know, and and maxing the moment out. And that's very important. The most leverage. And that's going to give you the most leverage in owning your life. Not letting your life run you or the day run you. You're running the day. And just win it. I like to do also another great tip to add on to that. Go ahead, everyone. Do your workout in the morning to get it done. Yeah. 
Yeah. Then you've won the day. You got the dopamine re rev it in your brain. You're feeling that oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins. You're feeling good, and it's not from a pill. It's from your own pharmacy from the neck up, getting that dose in. And then you won the morning. Then you're winning the day, and then you're, you're then you win the week, and then the month, and you're winning at life. And here we are, 20 years later. So keep winning. That it's an upward spiral. And I have found that I get better results when I have a coach, which is why I created Miracles yeah. Coaching a long time ago. And I know you do coaching. Do you yes. still do private coaching with yes. people? Yes, that's a great question. Absolutely, Dr. Joe, I do. And I've had a lot of people say they've got such great results with your coaching. And you really right. are doing the work of angels here on earth, changing people's lives, giving them support. And that's the greatest thing that we can do to hand that torch of motivation and inspiration to someone else out there to let them know. They're cared for. They're being heard. We have solutions. We have strategies. But you've got to do the work as well. It's a two-way street. So, yes, I do, and I absolutely love it. Like I said, I really feel like, you know, coaching didn't you, – you, you weren't in a way to say, I want to do coaching. It actually chose you and, and, and to be chosen to help as many people as we can impact lives. It sounds like a Hallmark card, but it's serious. This is serious work. I've had people say, you know what, I reached out to you, and I was on the brink of suicide. I don't want to mm. ever have that happen to anyone. Life is too precious. That's what mm. we're doing here. It's really big work and it's miracles. And um, I absolutely love it. And it feeds my spirit because man cannot live by bread alone. You, everyone out there listening, find what feeds your spirit, soul food. Okay. <laughs> You'll stop right. eating the donuts because you're eating to fill the void of not finding your passion. Look at Dr. Joe. He's living his best life. I'm grateful for another day. Every day I wake up. And you deserve the same. So, yes, you know, it's it's powerful. Your coaching is powerful. And when we can impact lives, that makes our life worth it. Well, you know, I'd love to hear a story of somebody that you either coached or yeah. read your books or yeah. a story of transformation. Because we've been talking about your story, which is breathtaking. And occasionally we talk about my story, which I hope is inspiring. But yes. what about somebody, people that are listening to us, doesn't they don't know about this other person. Did somebody come to you and they look like there's no chance, this is going to be, this is a wreck, I, I can't do it. And there was a transformation. Absolutely. I have many and I'm so blessed. And I'd like to highlight one specific VIP queen. Her name is Yaya Ballerin. And I got a download, if you will. And that was like an inkling to saying, I'm going to reach out to this woman because she was a sister to a woman that was already in my coaching program. And I kept on getting this message, reach out to her, reach out to her, reach out to her. So I asked her sister, whose name is Yelly. And I said, Yelly, Look, I'll sponsor your sister. I know she really needs it. I, I'm get I'm getting downloads. I'm getting I'm getting like an in, an inkling that she needs to come. She needs help now. She's like, no, I've already asked her. She's shutting it down. She's not ready. And I said, no, ask her one more time. So she went to go ask her, and Yaya broke out crying, saying, I was on my knees last night praying for a miracle. And you come to me with this. I can't do it alone. I'm trying to do the diet food. I'm trying to work out. I hate working out. Here we are. Fast forward three years later. She's still in the program. She's over 80 pounds lost. And she loves eating healthy. She's opened up a new Instagram channel all about her healthy food. She's made it fun and fabulous. And she's lost over 80 pounds. Wow. And she loves working out. And, and she makes videos of herself working out. So we woke her up. So when she was crying, praying for a miracle, I had that message. And now here we are three years later. So this is like type of the work that we're doing. So it's not wow. just like looking good in a leotard. It's really that deep healing. And she had a lot of healing to do. We also have Rosie Moe that's in the UK. We have, oh my goodness, a cancer survivor who, Lizzie Moffat, mm -hmm. who um, she fought cancer and came back. And now she has that light in her eye. We have someone that started my program her name is Sam Hamilton. She's in a remote part of Canada out in the swamps, and she does the lives online. I love the internet. People say social media is bad. No, it's not. We're changing lives with it. It's how you use it, right? She yeah. started, she was in shape physically, but she didn't have that light in her eye. Now we call her twinkle eyes because every time we see her in our group, she's got that joy in her eye, and that's what it is. So those are a couple of the stories. So Dr. Joe, Gloria, Gloria Mar um, Miss Gay, last one, she was drinking. She wasn't happy. She had this dark aura around her. That joy for her life was not in her eyes. She was depressed. She was sad. She watched my videos on YouTube. 
And she says, I just, I have nothing to lose. Here we are two years later. She is dancing. She looks fabulous. She, her body is snapped into place and she has this rosy aura about her. She has this joy for life again. And that's, wow. it's almost like, it's like we feel, we're like that childlike joy of where you, you believe like Santa Claus was real. Well, it's like that feeling that we have, like every night, like <laughs> Christmas Eve, we're excited for life. And I think that's the shift that we can transform in people's lives. You know, wow. shifting it from negative to positive, struggling to thriving, wishing to working, hoping to knowing, confusion to clarity, stress to blessed, grumpy to grateful, and transforming the weak moments into strengths. So those are a couple of my stories. Oh, those and are great. Those thank are great. you so much for asking. Yes. Of course. I know that there's a, a long list of people you have helped directly well, and indirectly. I have to take the time to thank you. You know, when I started in the self-help industry, there's a lot of people out there and some give the self industry a bad name. I'm going to say it. Hmm. It is what it is. Um, and they really feed upon the, the, the vulnerability of those that are really needing help. So I just want to say, I've always loved your messages. I really have leaned into your books, your videos, your, your every, all of your online coaching. And so I want to say thank you for being a conduit of pure light. So I can then also help other people and, and it's a trickle effect. It's a ripple effect. So I just have to thank you back in when I first started. And I fell out of my chair. Imagine me on the floor when I emailed you and I said, I saw you in the secret. Would you write the foreword? And when I got an answer back and you said, yes, I was on the floor, literally <laughs> on the floor. And then we did the Rolls Royce mastermind and I brought my friend Marley with me. We went out to right. Texas. So just win after win after win. And you could stay in that winning streak. And that's what life is about, getting in that. 5D living where everything is just working in your honor and you love life. You know, we're going to run out of time, which always <laughs> frustrates me because I have so much, so many more questions for you. Uh, so we'll have to have a part two at some point here or a, another Rolls Royce mastermind dinner. Yes. But, but one of my questions is you've mentioned 3D and 5D a couple of yes. times. Uh -huh. And I think I know what you're talking about, but I'm not so sure everybody else does. Yes. So can you break it down? 3D reality, in my opinion, I'll start here and let you complete it, is this reality. It's this the physical right. one, you know, I can touch my head and I got a right. camera here and all this stuff and a right. desk and a chair. 3D reality is what most people would think it is. What's right. 5D? Absolutely. This is a powerful question. And this is, something we can all tap into. And it goes back to manifesting. The more mm -hmm. light your your body and spirit holds, and, and when you did all your shadow work and you and you forgave and you and you moved on and you healed yourself and you did the deep healing, you're gonna feel lighter. You're gonna actually shift from a 5D. It's not like you put on glasses and you go somewhere and you time travel. <laughs> Nothing like that. <laughs> it's actually where you 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 feel new again. You feel like you feel like you're truly practicing self-love. You feel like mm. you found your soul's mission. You've healed yourself. You've removed all negative blocks. It's green like go. You're in that flow, go state. You don't take things personally. If somebody cuts you off in traffic, you're like, hey, maybe you do me a favor. And that's that's great. Thank you. You're in this all-encompassing love where you just enjoy your life when hundred percent. You don't even need validity from other people. You're out of the rat race of, I don't need to climb the corporate ladder. I'm just going to do what makes me happy. You found this inner peace that surpasses all knowledge and you have this supercharged clarity. How do you get shift from 3D to 5D? You do all the inner work. You do coaching. You stay around other light workers that are not judgmental, that want to see you succeed. And you really start seeing that what you put on your vision board, what you write in your journal really does manifest. And this is a great tip when I saw what it was working for me. And I know you can agree with this, Dr. Joe Vitale, to wrap this up. When we were in poverty and scarcity and lack, that's 3D. But in my mind, I was in 5D. I was already in a mansion. I was mm. already visualizing multiple beautiful cars and 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 mm. and a big, uh, nice financial freedom. I was there. And then the more you live in that and you shift from the 3D to the 5D and then you wake up, you're like, I'm living what I visualized on my vision board. I put on my vision board for 2023 to 
network and connect with other highly sought after experts in the industry. Boom. What are we doing right now? This is the manifestation. Okay. Ring the bell on that. So that's the shift from 5D and you see things almost more in HD and, and you'll know because you'll feel stronger in your life's purpose and mission. And it's a beautiful mm. ascension. Mm. Jennifer, I have more questions, but we don't have time. <laughs> no, I, I want to say thank you. Oh, uh, well, thank you, too. Let thank me ask you. you this. When you knew I was going to interview you, was there a question you were hoping I would ask? Were you just sitting there going, oh, I hope Dr. Joe asked me this question because it would give you an opportunity to talk oh, about something that you didn't get a absolutely. chance to. Absolutely. Is there something? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I just want to say I actually have a question for you, and I know your audience <laughs> would love to know. You know, you were living the secret before the secret came and connected you with you and asked you to be on this blockbuster global worldwide hit that catapulted your career into the next level. How did you know about the secret? How did you tap into it? And how did you start using it? Oh my goodness. Now we have to do a whole sh sh separate 30, show. 30 on seconds. This. I know we have to, let's do yeah. it. Let's do uh, it. <laughs> well, I'll give you the, the short answer is yes. I'm a book freak. You can tell that by looking around my, my, my office here, books behind me. That's not a green screen. Those are real. So I was reading books, even when I was homeless in the public library in Dallas, and those books had secrets in them, especially the books from the 1800s, which is where the law of attraction was first written about. There's references to it going back 2000 years, if you just look at the power of thought. But with the phrase law of attraction, that's in a book from the 1800s, which I read when I was homeless in Dallas, Texas in the 1970s. Then I started to apply these concepts to myself, but I am homeless. I go into poverty, so I got out of homelessness, but there's no coaching. There's no internet. There's no support team. There's no cheerleaders. This is me by myself clumsily trying to apply this stuff. So the short answer is I, I worked on myself. When people yes. said, why'd you get into self-help? It's like, I was trying to help myself, folks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was the very first person that needed help, but- <laughs> Jennifer Nicole Lee, oh you God. are amazing. You are a fire. Thank house you. Of I gotta some... say one last thing. You have it behind yeah. you. You taught me to be happy now. That's a great yeah. secret you all need to take from Dr. Joe Vitale. No matter what your situation is, be happy now. Gratitude is a great force. So I just want to say I'm happy for this moment that we shared together and thank you. Let's do it again. And everyone out there listening, I believe in you and don't give up. Wow. Go to jennifernicolee.com, right? Do you have another website or is that the one you want them to hit? That's it. Go to jennifernicolee.com. And if you want to start coaching, go just go to jnlvipsignup.com. Excuse me. Yeah, that's it. jnlvipsignup.com. And we'll get you going. And I just want to say thank you. I'm just immensely just indebted to you. Thank you, Dr. Joe and everyone listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Dr. Joe Vitale, blown away once again by another guest on Zero Limits Living. And for a little cleanup, I mentioned earlier Arnold Schwarzenegger's book, and it's called Total Recall. And I had a moment where I just left my mind. Mm -hmm. Total Recall. But you've been watching Zero Limits Living. I'm Dr. Joe Vitale. Every week, I bring you information and inspiration to transform your life. This show is now on 1,000 platforms across the galaxy. You can see it on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, or just go to ZeroLimitsLivingTV.com and watch them all. Check out Miracles Coaching. Jennifer and I talked about coaching. My program is at MiraclesCoaching.com. Hers is at JenniferNicoleLee.com. I want to thank Lux Media Studios, Candace Barr, Chris running the engineering department, all of you for watching, tuning in. You're the light workers. You're the ones making a difference. I love you all. Expect miracles. Glutathione is a big word. It's the body's own master antioxidant. It's a scavenger for free radical, bacteria, and viruses. There are no products in the market with the ingredient NASA. NASA increases the production of glutathione that's in our body already to strengthen and enhance our immune system, elevate sense of well-being, support muscle strength and endurance, cognitive function, and liver support. It helps with increased energy and blood sugar regulation. Get your bottle of GSH Plus from www.salvationnutra.com.